Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to do a review of the 2019 reboot of Child's Play. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos daily. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365. All right, the 2019 reboot of Child's Play. Okay, a little background about my history with the original Child's Play. Uh, I was I was always okay with them. I, I It wasn't something I was very passionate about. I've only seen up until, I think, Son of Chucky. But I never really delved past that. And I don't have this huge, you know, uh, like love for the, the source material or anything like that of the original. So when I heard it was going to be a reboot, of course I naturally, my first instinct is going to roll my eyes. Uh, I had no faith this was going to be good in any way, shape, or form. But, you know, as cheesy as they are, the original Child's Plays have a certain charm. You know, possessed doll, that kind of thing. But, you know... I went into this optimistic, and the fact that Mark Hamill decided to voice Chucky honestly was what drove me into the theater. I think if they had gotten anybody else, I might have been like, uh, I don't know. So I jump in, let's let's see what happens uh, with the, the reboot. You know, because like we just had Pet Cemetery, which wasn't great, and I mean, reboots can be very tricky. It's just hard to, to top the originals. Do I feel that Child's Play does that? It's It's a different movie. But I'm going to tell you, I enjoyed it. I actually really did enjoy it. I had a good time with it. Uh, it also stars Aubrey Plaza. Uh, you know, we, it, she's, I, I, you know, she's always going to be April from <laughs> Parks and Recreation, and she's kind of a little Aprilish in this movie. It's just like a slightly older version. But I, you know, as far as the movie goes, I really did actually enjoy it. I, I think it was fun, a bit campy, yes, unrealistic, but I really dug what they did here. They didn't just possess the doll again. I kind of liked the technology aspect where it all came down to a disgruntled worker putting these dolls together and he's like, you know what? Like, okay, here you go. Boom. And I enjoy that aspect and it leaves the door open for more, you know, and they kind of hint at it at the end, but it really, I think, takes it in a slightly different direction. You know, possessed doll is one thing. You know, this is a doll just rage of technology you know we've seen these before they even make reference to things like terminator and you know robot apocalypse movies that sort of thing so they they're already thinking of what they could possibly do uh mark hamill as chucky was great i wasn't sure uh when i've heard that little bit from the trailer that it was going to work but it's different enough from what we got in the originals that you know i think i think it's 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 a nice it's a, it's a nice contrast. It's not the same, but you know, as far as the voice goes, but Hey, it's, it's Mark Hamill doing Mark Hamill and he's great. I mean, we know the man can do voice acting, you know, he's iconic as the Joker and Batman, but it's a really good, really good energy he brings. And, and I was thinking the first half of the movie, just to give you kind of a comparison, how they take this, if you've ever read or seen of mice and men, this is that movie up until the first half. And then it kind of turns into a deranged E.T. the second half. I, I, you know, I liked a lot of the difference they did. I think they could have probably gone a little bit further at the, at the climax. I think they maybe not chickened out, but it, it could have been a lot worse. And I, I was, I was really hoping that they were going to go that extra mile. But at the end, it kind of turned into, you know, select characters versus Chucky and, you know, I, I, I've seen that before. We've all seen that before. But they allude to something at the end that could totally take the sequel to a, a better, you know, not a better, but a, a different direction away from what we got in you know, the original movies. And I appreciate that. Overall, I actually really dug Child's Play. I think everybody did a good job. I think there was a good array of actors and actresses. They all I, I didn't find any real weakness. There's a little bit of a disjointment between... Uh, one uh, the main the main kid character i'm sorry i don't remember his name but uh i, I his character's name was andy but I, the actor i'm sorry um but andy and one of his friends and it was just kind of an odd disjoint but it didn't take me out of the movie but i had a good, genuine good time with this one so i'm gonna give the child's play reboot a seven and a half out of ten I enjoyed the hell out of it. And at the end of the day, that's enough sometimes. You know, you can just enjoy a movie. It, it's not inherently terrible at some of these uh, past 
horror films that either reboot or just kind of terrible, like script wise. It was fun. And I hope Mark Hamill comes back for more Chucky. I would love to see that. All right, so let me know in the comments below if you had a chance to see Child's Play. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. I put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.